Welcome to Game Fuel in week 2 of March. Things are a little slower than last week, but we still got lots of great things to talk about. So let's get into it. Starting off with some VR news, Bethesda announced Skyrim VR is headed over to PC, almost a year after its original release on PS VR. We found it very confusing on why both games, Fallout 4 and Skyrim, had different VR re platform releases. Maybe to see which is more successful, but either way, this should have happened in the first place. Skyrim VR for PC is coming April 3rd of this year. You can already pre-order it on Steam. Does this mean that we'll see in Fallout 4 on PSVR? Who knows what Bethesda's been up to? Maybe working on the next Elder Scrolls game. We have a video on what features we want to see in the next Elder Scrolls game. You'll find it down in the description. And continuing with Bethesda news, the developers behind the project Capital Wasteland mod a mod which seeks to recreate Fallout 3 in Fallout 4's engine have been forced to give up the project due to legal rights in regards to the voice acting and original music. The developers of the mod ran into unforeseen issues and put the project on hold. However, after more thought, the decision was made to stop. NafNaf95, the project lead, would be fully liable for any legal, well, fallout, resulting from the creation of the mod. Since mods are passion projects, it only made sense to cut their losses. It's unfortunate that these modders could not continue their work, but hopefully we will see more of them soon, if there can be some sort of agreement behind this massive project. In other news, Activision may be stepping into the battle royale genre. They have affirmed that they are aware of the popularity of the genre. Things could get very interesting if a AAA developer decides to take a crack at a battle royale. Obviously a clear option would be the Call of Duty Battle Royale route, but Destiny 2 could also be a great choice, or Activision could go completely from scratch. In tech news, Microsoft announced over the weekend AMD FreeSync support for the Xbox One. The tech will be supported on both Xbox One S and the Xbox One X, and will be included in the spring update. PC users know AMD FreeSync aims to help reduce screen tearing and rubber banding, or stuttering. But at present, only certain displays support the tech. This means users will need to use a monitor instead of a television set. In other tech news, it seems Nvidia's next line of graphics cards are going into mass production for a launch in the third quarter. A report from Digitimes suggests that Nvidia wants to change consumers to get away from cryptocurrency and bring it back to gaming. As we all know that prices are all over the place, but NVIDIA want to land more gamers with the upcoming cards. What does this mean for AMD? Are we going to see a decline in prices? Hopefully, NVIDIA leads this in the right direction for their upcoming products. And back to more games, the next game in the amazing Tomb Raider reboot series has been leaked, and it's called Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And it will be releasing on September 14th, with the full reveal on April 27th. I have to say I'm very excited as the last two Tomb Raider games were some of my favorites in recent years. I wish I could say that a new Witcher game was announced, but unfortunately that isn't the case. However, we did get news this week that Geralt of Rivia, the main character in the Witcher series, will be a playable character in Soul Calibur 6. A reveal trailer showed gameplay of the grizzled Witcher in action. I'm not the biggest fighting game fan, but having one of my favorite video game characters of all time might just win me over. The game is releasing this year for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Well that covers this week's gaming news. Are you excited for the next line of Nvidia cards? And what's in the work for Activision's Battle Royale? Do you think we'll get one? Leave a comment down below. As always, this is Simple Logics, signing out.